All right, everybody, so it is a wonderful day in Sanford, Florida today. Actually, it's raining, but it's a wonderful day because we're in a motorcycle shop. We're in the Harley-Davidson dealership, Seminole Harley-Davidson in Sanford, Florida. Every now and then, opportunity arises where there's just something amazing that you know that you're gonna be a part of. Today's discussion is that something amazing. And I have with me over here, not him, he's a Harley rider, but over here, <laughs> I have the V-Twin Vlog. And he is an Indian motorcycle rider. I have Riding Fish, and he's the Indian motorcycle ambassador. And on my left side over here, I have Jamie from Moonshine Harley Davidson. I have Moonshine Paul, Horsepower. Moonshine Horsepower Ooh. Harley Davidson. They uh, make fast baggers down there. I have Hulk here, who is a rider of a Harley Davidson fast bagger. And then I have Daddy Cool and Preacher Man. And guys, you know me, my name is Tall. And uh, I ride a street glide and I've rode a Challenger on the channel before. So we're gonna have this discussion. And we're gonna keep it light and friendly about Indian motorcycles and Harley Davidson motorcycles. So uh, with that being said, let's roll the intro and then let's get into the discussion. So we'll start to my left with riding fish. Uh, fish, tell him what you ride. He ain't that tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. uh, uh, as you guys know, I'm Fish. You can find me riding fish on YouTube. Um, I ride a 2020 Indian Challenger and I have a 2019 Indian FTR. And uh, yeah, that's what I ride. And then we'll continue with our guests. Since we're in the Harley store, we'll continue with the Indian guests. Go ahead. All right, all right. I'm Larry. I ride a 2019 uh, Indian Chieftain. That's the only bike I got right now. But uh, also rep representing the V Twin Blog. And it hurts my heart that I'm in a Harley shop. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't introduce that, but Albert, tell them what you ride. Listen, I ride a, a 2020 Soft Tail Slim. Um, you know, new rider, love it. What a great cruiser. Uh, love Harley. All right. And then to my right, on this side, we have Jamie from Moonshine Harley Davidson. Jamie, tell them a little bit about yourself. Oh man, I came from the street bike world, got into the Harley World in 09. I currently own Moonshine Horsepower, which is the high performance line of our Harley Davidson dealership, where we build high performance custom motors. And then I also have Moonshine Harley Davidson. I ride the best American motorcycles Harley Davidson. <laughs> the longest streak. They've been doing it nonstop for over 100 years. We started, never kicked the bucket, still going strong today. Love the brand. Indian, I'm glad they're around because it makes us get better and it makes Indian bring out better product and it makes Harley bring out better product. So to have options is the best thing for you guys watching this right now. Okay. How, how's your bowling game, bro? <laughs> oh, we're hey, I'm just curious. I was just curious. I'm not that good of a bowler, so I mean bowling's good. I like bowling. Okay. Cool. I like riding those bikes while Thank God they Thank God for that bowling cart. Yeah. How'd you guys like not having options? Ooh, we're starting already. Not having options, I mean, I've been able to buy a Harley since 1903 till now. Yeah, well, Man, I'll be so sad. How are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, guys, wait, guys. Before we get into this, we're going to get we're going to get. I'm old, look at this. Look at this, father time. <laughs> we, we got Hulk over here. Hulk, tell him what you ride, Hulk. Uh, I got a 2020 Eagle Eye Road Glide with a 131. She's super up pretty good okay oh you consider buying an indian motorcycle never ever in life <laughs> never <laughs> ever, you ever in ride life. one never ever in life would i ever get an indian gotta be open-minded bro <laughs> i'm a harley i'm a harley guy down to the day i die i come off a 1300 high booster and my thing was uh, you went to a harley yes sir that's really okay surprising. I, I, I came uh, off a jet to 1000 went to a harley yeah, so, yeah i came off a 1300 mm -hmm. high booster because at the end of the day i knew i wanted something back power <laughs> I wanted something that I could ride uh, for longevity, uh, go out further. Uh, high boots, of course, you can't ride like state to state oh, like man. that. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted something I could ride state to state. And uh, when I when I looked at the Harleys, actually, I wasn't that interested in Harley at first. Why? Well, and uh, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and so somebody, so when I got to Harley, I told them where I came from. I told them I came off a of 13. I told them that I was looking for power and the whole shebang. And uh, they said, Well, have you have you rode a Harley? And, no. I tried, when I didn't roll, I said, Man, this is not gonna be for me. I said, this bike don't have enough power. He said, well, we can give it power. He said, how much power do you want? I said, I want the bike to be fast. And that project took off from there. So now I have a bike that's putting out 160 
uh, torque and 150 horsepower. So it, it's a pretty fast bike. Yeah, it's a fast bike. And then beside him is his brother, Daddy Cool. Tell him what you ride. I ride a 2019 CBO Road Glide Mako, Mako Sharp. Um, to me, it's the best color that Harley has produced, probably in the last mm, probably five years. But anyway, it's uh, it has a 131 motor in it, and I like it because I can get on one bike and do everything I need to do and dress it up and it's mine and, it, and, and when you see it, nasty looking good. Richard <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, I ride a, a 2020 Road Glide Special, black on black. I got a 131 as well. And I'm putting like 144 horsepower and 160 foot pounds of torque. And to answer that question, you didn't ask me this question, but would I ever ride an Indy? I thought about it. Then I came to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I, I seen the challenge, I said, ooh. <laughs> but then, my better judgment said, get a Harley, because they've been around here so long. They're so reliable. Well, I'm just going to say, so you didn't even want a Harley. You weren't even interested until you uh, got on one. Uh, yeah, I wasn't interested in a Harley because at the end of the day, I, I mean, I came off of cross trackers. But I knew I wanted a bike that was going to get me, you know, where I can travel more and stuff. What I'm, what I'm saying is you're also, now you're closed-minded to trying a new brand. You I might, mean, I, you got to be open minded this way. I go test, I go test ride at any and any day. But it ain't gonna but do, it ain't gonna do what a Harley can do. I just but, know that. But for us, when we came, we we, 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 we love the customer. I, 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 I did. The, well, let me put it this way. I looked at it. I did some research on them. And I, what I found. You was, ain't watched the Rodney Fish channel, bro. No, no. I didn't This is what happened. This Rodney Fish. This is what happened. We love it. We love to customize. Right. Everything we right. have is customized. Correct. From cars. Trucks, van, everything we ride is customized. There's nothing that Indian can do when it comes to customizing their, their bikes compared to Harley. Harley. Period. 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 So, Show me that, then I, then you can get my I'll, interest. Well, before I'll we go into those arguments, hold on. Before no, we go into those arguments, I can show, I can tell you. Like you know, there's all, three, we do have some aftermarket. Three pieces. Some. Let's go. So give us the three some. pieces. How right. big's your motor? A one thirty one. Air cooled. Okay. Yeah, I just came out with one. There's air cooled one thirty one for for Indian. Right, y'all. No, I'm just. It, it doesn't matter. But 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 but. I'm when you look at Harley, you have to hold on, hold on, hold on. But we yeah. have your 150. Right, right, right. We got one. No, I mean, we, the, when Harley built the right. M8, I'm loving this guy. When Harley built the M8, you know, if if we're a car guy, a lot of guys have had Chevys before or Ford. You know, the the twin cam was your small block. Now the M8 is your big block. Right. When you when you look at a twin cam, boom, you have this much room. You look at M8, you have this much room. Harley did a very good job, gave us a platform to build upon. They, they don't come out with a motor for two or three years. They come out with it to run in it for a long time because we don't want to keep changing everything all the time and not changing up the aftermarket parts. Harley really looks at the aesthetics of the motorcycle. You, you can't compare the Indian aesthetics to the Harley. Just the V-twin's more open, there's less stuff, it's not as bulky, it's more see-through. Now, Indian did a good job with the Challenger, with the performance Indian market did. coming out of the box. <laughs> they did a very good job. But as far as all the customization, the handlebars, how we can manipulate the rider's comfort, there's so many more options in Harley. We've been doing it longer. Yeah, you need so there's the more, options. There, no, there's more, uh, there's just more, no, it. no, I don't want to go there okay, because, okay, okay. because we both need it, okay? So they're both great motorcycle brands, but, there's just different points. We've been doing it for a long time. It's allowed more aftermarket companies to pop up and keep growing. Indian is doing it. You guys, you, you know, you, won't, you, you haven't been doing it the last 30 years recently. So, so you're behind and you guys are, are doing stuff and catching up and it is growing, which is awesome because we need competition. You guys need us, we need you in there, but there's just, it's, it's good to have both options. Now I'm Harley through and through, but Obviously. it's awesome to see both. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna say two things. So, so you're talking about the air cooled and the openness of the motor. The, the um, chief, the chieftains and the roadmaps, they're all thunderstroke motors. They're air cooled. They're open like that. So we we also have two platforms, right? And so we have a liquid cooled. It is much different. The aesthetics, like you were saying, is much different. That's true. If we're talking Challenger versus that, that would be one thing. But if we're taking like Brent, we we all have options. We do. And, and, and you guys don't have any liquid cooled baggers at the uh, oh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're different. Full they're, liquid. Full yeah, but they're twin cooled because, because if we did that, you would get away from how the motor works. Oh, okay, but that's and why I'm The two bikes you mentioned, you mentioned the Challenger. And what was the other one? Chief, Chief, Chief. The, the, so the, the Chief did, Har Indian looked hard at, at Harley's road camp. Right. And what they did is they made the Indian version of the road camp. They didn't make something new. 
They copied it because they know they're such good sellers. Street the challenger, hold on. Street glide. Challenge. You mean the street glide. Every, every, yeah. every, well, most, most models besides the Sport 1, that is the flat track bike, are modeled after the very successful Harley motorcycle. Yeah, but you can say that and about models. anybody. I mean, it's too You know, it's good to have the competition, so you, but let's look at that. So you agree? You agree? No, I'm saying any bike that is modeled, that has two wheels and an engine, yeah, how many ways could be modeled make? after a Harley, except that's how bikes have been for the last hundred and yeah, who was the first? I don't know how big on years. the Goldwing. Right? A Victory Vision wasn't modeled like a Harley. A Goldwing's not modeled Victory, like a Harley. They're no, different. They're not so. The Goldwing was the first fixed fairing, yeah. Um, so no, I don't. So I think it was a Kawasaki, to be honest with you, the yeah. first fixed fairing. But let's go back to this, guys. You talked about. Uh, you said you don't have aftermarket, and you said you do have the oh, aftermarket. Do. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take away Lloyd. Tell me two other people. Dirty that's not. Here's one that, that's been helping me. Bike, Ro Clark. Roland Sands. Yeah. Roland, Roland Sands and SNS. SNS has the yeah. motors. Roland Sands is getting involved. They're doing in cams and all. And so it is it's getting stuff. better, but you, you guys agree it's not like Harley Davidson. Well, who besides? No, no, not me. makes big, big motors. SNS. Um, right? Uh, and they make one. Yeah, you guys make a bunch of different sizes, right? We make a so, bunch. But let's go back to the manufacturers. So I started my career Suzuki, Honda, Cap, all of them. I, I, my first bike was a 1977 Z50 Honda. Right. And when I worked for the metric stores, Suzuki gives you a catalog. <laughs> Kawasaki gives you a catalog. Honda, these little paper thin things, okay? I come to Harley in basically 09 when the economy was crashing, and Harley had their own bank, and they still do, and it's Harley Davidson Financial Services. We were still able to write loans and get riders riding in the middle of the recession back then. That's true. And I came over and I had a catalog that looked like a phone book from the manufacturer. The Harley parts, just to customize your Harley through Harley, you have over a thousand page catalog. And you're there's, talking there's, about the manufacturer. That's the manufacturer. About the well, that's because, because there's no other motorcycle company in the world. That's because that's even Harley Davidson that. puts the cheapest stuff on their bike. No, no, no. There's so many ways. To, no, no. How are you going to upgrade an LED turn blinker? Well, let's and let's go. Got like no, three LED turn instead blinkers. Instead of us, two pages. I, I won't go as far as to say parts are cheap, right? But they're easily when, upgradable. But when you easily but, upgradable. But I think about. Well, I'll sides. tell you why I bought my engine, right? Because I looked at it and I said, I don't have to upgrade much. Like I, that's the frame of mind that I came from, right? You don't no, have I a lot can't. to do. I, I could if I wanted to. There are parts, there are people that I can go to. There are a number of smaller independent. Where do you live? Minneapolis. How many, right, how many dealerships are close in your, your area? Uh, only one. Oh, close to my area? Three, maybe three four. four. Yeah. How far away? Uh, the farthest one away Within 100 miles of the circle. Within 100 four. miles, I have four. We can probably have, in Tennessee, within 40 miles, four. Okay. Yeah, but that, I hate that argument because it's like, there ain't no yeah. Ferrari dealerships, but I people still buy a Ferrari. That's but not a real good argument. I don't think no, there is an argument. No, it, it is sure. because for well, someone, like, wait, wait, somebody like me that travels across country. That's why you have traveling yeah, tall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like to know that I have the support of the dealership. You know what I mean? If I'm out in the Indian on a, in somewhere in Arizona, out in the desert, I don't want to be like, I interviewed a guy today on a live video. He was talking about, he lives in Maine. There's one dealership. His Indian broke down, he took it to that one dealership, and they didn't even have the part. So the one dealership didn't even carry the part. If that happens to me in Knoxville, Tennessee, well, it did happen to me. I had to, you know, I was on the road, I was down there in Nashville, and I got the part from him, actually. I feel like Harleys are more of a customer's buy because you have parts, you have a list of parts, like you were saying, a parts catalog that you can hugely pick out, right? Um, from an Indian, the reason I came in as a, as a Don V twin vlog, but just an Indian rider, is I looked at that bike and said, it has everything I need off the floor. There were a couple additions that I made to it. There are the riders that are like you guys that want that, and then there's riders like me, who just, they see the bike and they're like, that's it. So basically, you're one of the people to go to Subway and you get it exactly how it's on the menu. You don't change anything, right? No. Have you changed anything <laughs> on the bike? I've, I've changed the exhaust. Okay. Um, what else have <laughs> we changed? I changed the exhaust, the bars, grips, and, and put out gear grips. But this is the bike that comes that you you love so that's, dearly that y'all no so, so the reason I changed the bars was that out of, that, was out of that, shoulder. I was getting shoulder pain. Was that out of so the engine catalog? But well, that's I pretty cool. That was all the other. I think what you're saying with your seat. But off camera. But he made. But let me tell you this. He made a valid. You made a valid point. You said that. 
in, in so many words. One one reason why I believe Harley people get Harleys, why Harley guys are Harley, is the customization. Right. At the end of the day, I don't care what how good Indian is, how, how good Harley is. People want to be able to get a bike that they can say, okay, this is my bike. This is what separates my bike from every other bike. Whether it's the motor, whether it's the way it looks, whatever it is. And when they look at motorcycles, at the end of the day, we all can agree that there's no other more customization you could do than Harley. I mean, that's just that's just what it is, so, right? So is that correct? I yes or no? I don't agree. You don't agree. So you're saying Indian has more customization that you can do than Harley? So um, that's a yes or no answer. Right, right. It's a yes or no. No. Okay, now, now tell me why you feel that way. How? Okay, so, how? so how do you make your uh, motorcycle look different? I just said. Like, how about we go? Let's just split paint, right? Do you guys know really good paint guys? But I just we already have paint for the fact that right. it's great, so we don't have to. Paint. So you don't? Have, you guys don't do custom paint? No, we, just, well, we, we both can. Both paint. Paint. Yeah, everybody can do custom paint, mm -hmm. right? So that's one way of customizing. And seats, yeah, maybe you guys have 15 options. And the and the motorcycle, the Indian Challenger has only been around. It's only its third year since and they have six. I, I might be wrong by one or each way. But I mean, six options is a lot. If, if 15 is not enough, do we not know seat upholsters? Do you know anybody? I mean, no, I can put, I can well, tell let's you, not downplay, I'm, you know, Harley, the Har there's, there's probably 20 different companies specializing in Harley seats, and there's a couple in Indian. In Indian's newer, there hasn't been time for as many as aftermarket companies. The big guys that make all the stuff for Harley are now have their Indian line too, which is great. So like a Saddleman seat, you can get an Indian Saddleman seat. Yeah, so there's that, but but we, we've just been established and doing it for so long. You guys have to play catch up. It just is what is, our catalog's so thick because we've been able to add to it over the decades. Time and you guys will get there. I, hold, I, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait, let, let me say this, let me say this. You're saying that but it is what it is. they have to play catch up, but the argument in the beginning, I'm being devil's advocate right now, you guys said y'all were around since 1901, so <laughs> then why would they have to pay ketchup if they've been around two years before Harley Davidson? So everybody has a model year change where something might not fit a 2009 Street Glide, 2014 Street Glide, the frame change. So our frame changes, but our aftermarket and Harley, they still provide us with aftermarket things and the Harley company, they provide us with a, a plethora of seats. You guys only have five or six. So you can't really say give them time to do it because they had since time. they said right. 1901. So what? So then, if you've been around, why do you only have 15 seats? <laughs> we only <laughs> have way more. Yeah, way more. Yeah. I, I want. I There's well over a couple though. hundred seats. And you though. brought out. A, you brought a great point. You, you said that when you bought your motorcycle, it was everything that you wanted. But you changed things, and that's what it's about. It's about making your bike be who you are. Right. So, and so I ain't just like, my bike is called Black Magic. Mm -hmm. She's black, she's live. You, you get my point, and that's the I thing. Mean, and out of every brand, everybody got a heart desire to make their bike a reflection of them. And then I also, should. you know, everybody wants to think theirs is the best. True. True. Okay, nobody is being very open-minded right now. I mean, you guys, you've never rode a Challenger, yes or no? No. Have you, I, ever, hang, have you rode I've a Challenger? Rode have you rode a Challenger? No. Have you rode a Challenger? No, I will though. I hope challenge. you do. I would love to ride with you. No matter what you ride, I'll ride with you. All you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you rode a Challenger? Yeah. No. You rode a Challenger? Yes, I have. Out of the box, and I know you're a big dude, right? Was it not a good bike? Not saying anything about changing it. Out of the box, my opinion of the Challenger, it, it handled very well. It had a lot of power, but it. To me, it felt metric. It didn't feel like an American motorcycle. It felt, it felt metric. The, the best explanation, what I, if I'm talking about a Challenger, it felt like it was the American Gold Wing. I mean, it's just that's how I felt about it. It is, it is a very good riding bike. It had a bunch of features on it, but it just didn't have the fit and finish of a Harley, and didn't have the something that I can't be explained. It didn't have the soul of a Harley Davidson. It, it really felt like a metric motorcycle. So, and just to also be clear, you had their first year Indian Challenger. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. But it, it handled very well, handled like what it did. It handled like a sport bike, it rode very good, it had a lot of power, but it just wasn't. Like you didn't jump on it and be like, dang, I really need to upgrade this suspension to the No, 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 I didn't do that. You didn't but, go, wow, I have to have this 131 because I'm used to my Hayabusa. You didn't say that right. Uh, it wasn't no. your first thought. No, I mean, everybody the, wants The 108 is not as powerful as 
y'all like the I'm not saying it's a 131. I'm not saying no, 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 no. I'd like to interrupt here, but when I look at it, because looks is a very important part, right. that's why we customize them. Okay. When I look at the challenge, I'm not like, man, I have to go out and buy it. You know, well, it doesn't have didn't the stance. Say earlier that there's there's all kinds of different stuff. No, we spend a lot of time after our looks. Yeah, yes. I know, but you guys said that earlier we copied your look. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Right. I mean, that challenge okay, so looked it's like not a, 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 copy, a copy version of the road ride. That's Absolutely. Like. We can all agree. Yeah, just that. like when people used to put that uh, Bentley kit on their 300. It's right, 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 right. It's not that Bentley. Right. It's a copy, it's a copy it's version of the road ride. Right. Right. They're both good, but, but they're know, different. I, and I would say this. I'm oh, not going to lie to you. I think the bike looks, it's a good looking bike. But I, at the end of the day, I think that you, you just have to determine which bike is for you. No, uh, you know, that, not that it's not a good bike. I mean, and either you're going to be an Indian person or you're going to be a hard. I don't so think there's a. I don't think there's a. I am a, 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 a motorcyclist. I'm a motorcyclist yeah, first, first. Yeah. Yeah. before anything else. Yeah. I'm, I started on Yamahas, and I I actually rode a Victory, and a Victory is where I had transferred over to the Indian motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So I had a 17 and a Victory Mag. That's the street life style, right? Yeah. So that's that transition got me there. I started on sport bikes, and my thought was when I got on one, kind of like you, is I was like, man, I just it's not smooth. Hayabusa's, Yamaha R1s, all that they are so top of the line with what they're doing. Yeah. When you get on, and you said mm -hmm. you got on a Harley, and you're like, oh, this ain't for me. It ain't fast, right? So fast was the first thing that came to mind. Right, and then but you knew comfortable. Obviously, you're going across the country, right? So when I got on that, I thought the same thing as you. But then I got on a victory, and that transferred me into that. Well, I was like, okay, I can see this. And then I got on the Challenger, and I was like, dang, this is like, this is like a really athletic big girl. She can do a backflip. She's just big. <laughs> it was the first time I rode a bike that felt like it was kind of related to a sport bike. Right. Right, right out of the box. I still have the stock bars. And I have 30,000 miles on my Indian challenge. Yeah. But I'm gonna say that just like, you said you started for sport bike. Yeah, I did. And my first experience was one day at my, my booster was in, a, in the shop near some places. And a friend of mine let me ride his street glide. And I'm riding it, and I'm like, I, this is what I say. Cause I'm like, man, that's an old man motorcycle. I'm not <laughs> riding that mess. Yep. He was like, bro, ride it. Yeah. I'm like, I, I rode it. So we riding around, I'm just like, okay, this thing is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah. I looked down, I'm doing about 100 miles an hour, didn't even know it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so it's comfortable. And it, 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 by that bike being comfortable, it, opened, it sparked my interest. So, okay. We've talked so long that both batteries are dead on the camera, so <laughs> we're gonna end this with final, arg well not arguments, final statements. Uh, it's been a good conversation. I wanna say this, all of us, we would, we would ride together. So it doesn't matter if you ride an Indian, a Harley, a Honda, or whatever else, we, we ride with people that have other brands of motorcycles. Oh, yeah. And if you like your bike, ride what you ride. You know what I mean? The main thing is you don't have to talk trash about somebody else's bike to make your bike better. If you bought it, just like it, and you don't have to put anybody else's bike down. But this was just a good conversation where we're just going, you know, Having a little fun. Having a little fun. So a little bit. Let's a little start. bit extra. We want a little extra. You want me to start with y'all no, first or y'all want to be last? I'll be last. <laughs> Let's start with you, Daddy Cool. Um, well, I'm, I'm just appreciative to, to the brand of Harley that uh, that's, that stays innovative to, to, to the rider, to the consumer. And um, I'm looking forward to just um, trying new things. But in the hearts of hearts, I love the, the fact of um, having options. And for me, that's, that's the biggest winner, whether it's a car or motorcycle. Give me the most options and, and I'm a happy consumer. Uh, my final thought is, I didn't even start, when I first got my Harley, um, I didn't even think I would have the Harley that I have now. Uh, I, I didn't, my, my idea of a Harley was one thing and when I got with my dealership, I had a really cool dealership that said, let's, let's see what we can, let, let us show you what we can really do with this bike. And it grew into a project that was probably bigger than what I could ever imagine and cost more than what I could ever imagine. But at the end of the day, I got one of the coolest, baddest bikes around here in Central Florida. You can ask anybody, it is bad. So I'm, I'm appreciative of Harley, um, it's a cool brand. And I would, I, would, I would try riding an Indian, 
But at the day, the, from the day to the day I die, I'm, it's hard, straight hard. I, I, I rep it everywhere I go. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I, I started on the metric grants, made my way to Harley. Now I have my own s store. You know, it was the American dream because I started off in these shops, sweeping the <coughs> floors and being a mechanic for a metric shop. And um, just like all these guys, they said they came off of a sport bike and even you guys. And now you're on a big B-twin. And this is a movement. This is like that late 60s, 70s with the horsepower era with the muscle cars. The media has put a lot of attention on the baby boomers and guys aging out of Harley. What I'm seeing in my store and the horsepower shop is a lot of guys that had the sport bikes when they were younger, finally they have money, they can purchase the Harley, they want to get the Harley, and there's this big horsepower thing going on in performance in all the bikes. It's not even just the baggers, it's the smaller bikes, and it's awesome to see. I mean, I think that the brand is growing again, both Harley's starting to grow, Indian's growing, it's really good to see, it's positive, bunch of young guys getting back into it and the rivalry. I mean, we need this and that's what I love about it. But I'm Jamie Lima, Moonshine Harley Davidson and Moonshine Horsepower. We have an Instagram, which is Moonshine Harley and a YouTube channel, Moonshine Harley. Follow Check us out, out, please. All right. And then Larry. I'll go with Larry and then Fish. All right. So what I want to say is I'm fortunate. I'm glad we were able to have this conversation because let's realistic. Let's think about it. 15 years ago, we couldn't have this conversation. It would have been Harley, 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 or sport bikes. And the fact that we're able to talk about other American motorcycles in the industry, um, people have a choice. As we talked about earlier, some there's a choice if you want to customize your bike. There's a choice if you want straight performance off the showroom floor. There's a choice if you just want a bike that just you want to take you want to take it off the showroom floor and go. Uh, 10,000 miles on it right away. There's choices and that's, I think we're all better off for having those choices. So la the last thing I will say is when you look, when a new rider is looking for a new bike or somebody's moving from the uh, metric market, the full on metric sport bike market to the V-twin market, don't just look at one brand. Look at both brands, you know, because there's something, there's going to be something out there for you, which couldn't say 15 years ago. All right, this? <clears throat> All right, got a couple things. Real quick, it'll be good. So, Moonshine's YouTube channel, actually I've learned a ton about motors and how they work and the performance and heads and stuff. So, you should go subscribe to Moonshine. Okay? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I don't know the inner workings of a motor. And so, yeah. I love to learn where I can. And you guys are very educational and I appreciate what you guys do. I appreciate Tall for having me here and here, but if, if, if you could take one thing, and, and hopefully you're watching this and you don't ride a Harley, and you don't ride an Indian, and you maybe don't even ride, if there's one thing you take from this, look at the passion that motorcyclists have. Mm -hmm. right. And we only have this, and we can only talk to each other because we know the passion. And so if you don't ride, you should give it a try because obviously it's intoxicating and everybody loves it so much that we love what we have, our own and just like you could. Yeah. So if I got to say anything, go get on two wheels, go out and learn how to ride. And if you remember when you were a kid, that first time going without training wheels, now imagine that with a motor between your legs. Yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree with you. Well said, everybody. Well, guys, this has been an awesome time talking with everybody about motorcycles. At the end of the day, you know, go to the dealership, sit on the bike, and decide which bike you want. And uh, yeah, like Fish says, get out and ride and enjoy your motorcycle. And uh, the motorcycle community is an awesome community. And look, we have a bunch of riders here. We all come from different walks of life. We all came from different types of motorcycles. But one thing that connects us together is our love and passion for motorcycles. So guys, hopefully this was an enjoyable video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the V-Twin Vlogs. Blog, not vlog, blog. <laughs> Ride and fish on YouTube. One word, riding fish. Ride and fish. <laughs> Moonshine Horsepower on YouTube. Moonshine Harley on YouTube. Moonshine Harley on YouTube. Moonshine or Harley on visit Instagram. his store at in Franklin, store? Tennessee. Franklin, Tennessee. Just south of Nashville by about 10 minutes. And guys, if this is your first time watching this channel, I want to thank you for watching. My name is Tall, and this is YouTube channel Traveling Tall. Also want to thank you, 
to my special friends down here in Florida. Even though they ride road glides, we ain't gonna hold that against them, right? I will. No. <laughs> and, and, I'm, a, I'm a street glide rider. And we have to thank Seminole Harley. We're, yes. we're up in their staging yes. room. This is where they bring all the bikes when they get traded in. Yeah. All these bad boys behind us were just traded in. Yeah. During Sem Bike Week. Seminole Harley, Harley Davidson. If you're in uh, Central Florida, Sanford, yeah. Florida. Sanford, Sanford, Florida. Sanford, Florida. AK Bo Key. Bo Key. And it's in Seminole Don't County. So we're in yeah. between kind of Orlando and Daytona. Correct. Yeah. Stop by and see them. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, like it, please subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep gliding or whatever it is challenge people do. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, have a blessed day. Let's eat pizza. I'm about to show Ryan and Fish what Moonshine Horsepower is.